Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. We are still here at Liar River. We've been here for three days and we're getting ready to leave today. But before we do, I want to do a mile and a quarter hike to the beach and then come back and then we'll pack up and get going. Right off the campground is a half a mile loop. We're gonna take that first. Finish this, cause there's some beautiful things to see around here. And then we're gonna take the mile and a quarter to the beach. It's just, that's one way. So it's gonna be about two and a half miles there and back. So yeah, let's go. It's just so beautiful back here. You ready, Mumu? Go. Go see what's there, Mumu. Go see what's there. Look. It's the awesome river. <laughs> Mumu the Explorer. Alright, come on. There's a beach down here. So beautiful here. There's the beautiful Lyre River. We're almost back around. I guess it's not that far at all. It's like a tenth of a mile. Look at all the beautiful ferns and all this awesome vegetation. It's just awesome. The mushrooms, look, that's cool. Oh, that one looks kind of weird. Look at this huge moss covered tree. I wonder what kind of tree that is. Did you find a trail, Mumu? Did you find another trail? Okay, come on. Let's go. Ooh, cool. Look at this arch above me. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, we are back to the beginning. This is continuing the loop trail. And this is back to my campsite right there. So we have to go through the campsite to get to the other trail. Actually, we have to leave the campsite, go up the road up here. And it's down the main road. This is where Mike, Rady, and Randy were, but they've already taken off to Forks. That's where we're going to be headed today. All right, come on, Mumu. And here is the beginning of Liar Mouth Trail. 1.25 miles to Strait of Juan de Fuca.
Sniff, move, move, sniff. We're almost to the top of the hill. There's Liar River right there. And here's the campground right there. Oh, look, I haven't seen one of these since the Redwood Forest. It's a banana slug. You. They're so cool and slimy. Yay, we made it to the top. I think we, what are we, still have like a mile, more, a little over a mile. Yeah, so this area is closed to motorized use. All right, continue on. Yay, more uphill. Yeah, it's easier coming back. Oh, I'm out of breath. It's up and down, up and down. All right, down we go. Okay, up we go. Wow, look at this grove of birch trees. This is beautiful. It's so peaceful too. Did you hear something? A oh, beehive? That's a plane. Are you getting the buzzy sensation? From the plane. You are? So we're just staying still, seeing if we can hear anything for a minute. Nope, no Bigfoot. Look at this green bearded tree. <laughs> That's really neat. What do you think, Mumu, huh? Shake it off, shake it off. This to me is why I started traveling, is the exploring. To see? Yeah, a lot of people don't explore, but I want to like explore and see all these cool yeah, things. I, I just don't want to do it by myself. Yeah, it, it is. I have a dog, so it's yeah, not as bad. Take off and leave Talk me about my chase. dog. There's my dog now. Yeah, you did. So, yeah, it is so beautiful. Let me show you. I mean, look at this tree with all the branches completely covered in moss. That is amazing. That is absolutely beautiful. I love this. <laughs> I think this is my favorite part of traveling, is exploring and hiking. Oh, and meeting people as well. I have to agree with Michelle. It's uh, definitely better when you have other people to share the experience with. Alright, so we are getting ready to leave the state land, entering North Olympic Land Trust property. How far do you think we've been so far? Half a mile. So yeah. we've got three quarters of a mile left. Probably. All right, we've come to an intersection. It says Liar River Mouth Trail, 
is, is three quarters of a mile that way. Then uh, Reynolds Road is back to the right, about a quarter of a mile. So we will continue on. Did you know, studies have found that taking a break outdoors relieves far more stress than indoor equivalent. I would say that's true. I totally agree with that because I always feel better during and after a hike or a walk. How about you? I like a walk, I also like my roof deck. It's oh. not the same thing. Well, yeah, it's outdoors. It's up on the roof, you're above all the dangers. Uh -huh. Even a bear <laughs> can't reach you. Right. Mountain lion is a different story. Right. So this sign is about forest aromatherapy. Here's some info if you want to read. Listen to the birds. Well, the trail has opened up considerably. It's like wide enough for a vehicle. So we've made it to the Liar Conservation Area. They even have a porta potty here, which is awesome. If you want to read that. It's also a fishing access. And one more sign. It's about the Surf Rider Foundation. Uh, we had to come down a hill, so we've got to go back up that when we are going back. There is a bridge we have to cross right there. So, yep, yeah, let's carry on. So, the bridge has a weight limit of 8 tons per axle, 20 ton gross. That's a pretty sturdy bridge. <laughs> so, I guess you can access this trail from the other road. And vehicles are allowed on this one. Oh, we're almost there to the ocean. Coming out of the woods is another trail. I thought I saw a trailhead when I was um, walking this road. There's a sign for it. And another sign. This one is green self-esteem. Here's some information. Oh, pretty cool. Seems like they've planted a few trees through here. Oh, I hear a loud plane up there somewhere. More planted trees, and you can see the water up ahead. I called it the ocean earlier, but it is the Strait of Juan de Fuca, I think. Oh, water source. Oh, non potable. I guess it's for the trees they planted. As soon as we came around the bend, you could just get a woof of like that stinky, fishy smell because we're so close to the water. Ooh. So this is some of the wildlife you can see in the area. And here's some more information if you want to pause and read. All right, we've got to continue down the path, but I wanted to show you, I believe these are rose hips. Looks like it. Not sure though. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments. Oh, looky. So pretty. Wow, that is amazing. There's even moss-covered rocks on the shore. And I believe that's Canada, across the way. I just stepped on this seaweed. It was a lot of it, and it's kind of slippery. I thought that was moss on the rocks, but I think it's some form of seaweed. Or algae. This does look like an outlet for a river, so I'm not sure. It might be the Liar River. Oh, I just noticed there's actually geese here. 
Look how beautiful this is. Wow, look at this stuff. That's pretty cool. It's like black looking seaweed. <laughs> or brown. No one is here on the shore. It's so peaceful out here. And how cool is that? Someone built a driftwood shelter. I wish I would have packed a lunch. Because it is lunch time. This is wonderful. I'm just going to sit here with Mumu and Michelle for a little bit and enjoy this and then I'm um, going to get headed back and meet up with the rest of the tribe. Good morning everyone, Aja here from Liar... Ugh. 